with for one night and one night only with um, no uh, repercussions. It's a uh, the bathrooms are not included in this deal. We thought they were. We were told today that uh, the bathrooms here will be closed at 11, regardless of whether we have a permit or not. So the the, the very pointed discussion that is going to be occurring today is whether we want to take the permit, which comes with a caveat of this is the only chance you get. You may not reapply. You may not stay any longer without the repercussions of citation or arrest. There are other ways to occupy space. Sidewalks, if, as long as you're allowing people to pass, are allowable. There's also other options of walking around the perimeter, finding pro private property to occupy, or just leaving at 11 or 11.45 or 12 and coming back at 5 a.m. at sunrise and doing this all over again. This is what we need to talk about today. So please let Ellie facilitate you in this very distinct conversation. If it comes to the point that we decide that we should send delegates over to speak to uh, Craig Lowe and ask him, like in other cities, the mayor has given indefinite permission for occupiers to stay. D.C., Portland, New York. So, let's all get in this conversation. Please, please, please try to keep track of how the consensus model works. It really works. It's really hard to get used to. For those of you who have been here for the last four it's learning something new. Be patient and please follow protocol because it really helps things move forward quicker. I'm going to try to call legal counsel right now to help us with this now that I actually have the permit in my hands to see what the details are. But um, please go through the consensus and enjoy yourselves and really think this through because this is about civil disobedience. This is about exercising our First Amendment right to peacefully, peacefully assemble. 